We had an interesting back and forth today with Endymion, someone we've had on the channel, and I like Endymion. He does great work and has great videos. And the CEO of CD Projekt Red responds to him, which only makes things far more complicated. So Endymion has this post that says, I talked to an Ubisoft, uh, Ubisoft insider about the current state of the industry, as well as another source which tells me places like CD Projekt Red and even Funcom, which is making Dune Awakening, are in dire trouble. And yes, we are officially in a game crash. So the CEO of CD Projekt Red responds. Seems we live in times where anyone can record complete nonsense and make a story out of it. CD Projekt Red talent leaving? We have the lowest rotation of people in recent years. DEI-driven recruitment? We hire based on merit and talent alone, just as we make games driven by artistic vision alone. Why did we choose UE? Because it enables us to work on our games more efficiently and we remain cutting edge uh, tech-wise. The Witcher 3's director left? Well, yeah, more than two years ago now can we stop looking for conspiracy theories and go back to making cool stuff that's an interesting response and I, I wish I could take it at face value but you just simply can't do that in today's gaming world so Endymion responds says, I hope I'm wrong about this but I was relaying what I was told about CD Projekt Red from one of my sources who also told me about Funcom as well although if you're willing to talk I would love to do just that and if you could comment on your company's commitment to ESG as a company publicly posted that would be great too I truly hope you guys don't go down the rock steady path or say firewalk with concord or in in any way plus uh we also know you guys hired an activist from insomniac as well there's quite a bit to speak on if you'd like to i'll leave the link below from cd project red's esg video for context but you say dei isn't important yet you also have that on your website claiming otherwise i'm not calling you a liar but there's a weird gray area here for sure anyways i'll link to the esg and dei stuff below uh on this post for those who want full transparency transparency for what i've been told and then you have madam savvy says hey i think it's really cool you're willing to engage uh in a dialogue i just have a question if you don't engage in dei hiring practices why do you have a segment on the website that shows an assessment uh you lot did that specifically states you want to strengthen the dei culture at cd project could you talk about this page a little and what it means and uh guess what no response Shockingly enough, shockingly enough, uh, right there. This is from John F. Trent. Diversity inclusion, and it's our purpose to create revolutionary blah, 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 blah. Uh, diverse and inclusive work environment boosts creativity and innovation, which is exactly what we need in order to push the limits of technology and storytelling, yada, yada, yada. So you say you don't hire based on DEI, yet you're literally pushing DEI bullshit saying that the only way that you can accomplish what you want is to have diverse and inclusive representation on your uh, team. Th this is absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. And, I mean, he's just getting cooked in the comments right now, rightfully so. I mean, everybody's dropping links. DEI Award for CD Projekt Red. Um, the, the typical games journalists are out there celebrating this response from him. But the reality of it is, is he is getting cooked. He is getting cooked. And if you're going to respond, you better be able to respond. And it ain't looking like he's going to be able to respond to all of this. You straight up said DEI recruitment with a question mark. We hire based on merit and talent alone. Then why the fuck do you have all this DEI bullshit on your website? These are fair questions that people can ask. So it will be interesting to see how this all plays out. But I found this one uh, to be pretty funny. And your response is only going to open the door for a lot more problems for you if you're denying DEI uh, practices. Because number one, the people that are, have already called it out and you have it on your website are, are going to continue to call you out. Number two, the, the woke people that you're trying to pander to are going to be so upset that you are now distancing yourself from DEI saying, oh, we don't hire for DEI. We hire for merit and talent alone. Well, that's racist based on the woke weirdos out there. You can't say hiring on talent. Uh, look what Triple H just went through. Triple H at WWE simply says some woke reporter asked him about representation. He said, I don't see color. I just hire the best person for the job. And all of the leftists melted down. So now you're going to have these leftists melting down on you. Have fun with that. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. And we will talk to you later.